So yeah, I just wanted to talk about the insanely disgusting season. Uh, six months of my life completely wasted. Uh, I want to talk about all the horrible people that play this game and uh, how how just just evil minded, maniacal, cackling, dirty trailer park witches that they are. Like, it's unreal, like, how people went out of their way to do everything they could to make it so I couldn't get rank one. Even though I'm clearly the best paladin in the entire game and I've done everything, I've played 15 hours a day for the last six months, logged on every single day, ready to play with anyone who would play. Blizzard makes the game so shit that no one wants to play in the first place, so it doesn't really matter. Like... It's such a joke. I, 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 I put more effort in than anybody else, and I'm better than everybody else. So not only do I have better work ethic, I'm also a thousand times better than anyone will be. And on top of it, they made HPAL the most boring class to play and the worst class to play. So it has no comps. It has no comps to play. It has no... It, it, has, it has no way to win. You have no... You have no defensive cooldowns. Your bop gets purged immediately. Even a hunter could purge your bop instantly first global. Every class has a purge. Even blood elf silence gets your bop off. Your sack, you die through immediately. Every single time you face a, a, a disc priest or a holy priest, they just hard counter you. Every single time you face any class, they hard counter you. But a sack is so bad that you can pre-sack CC. I can outplay every single person. And pre-sack CC, and I will sit the entire CC every single time. This is the worst season of all time for Paladins. It's actually the most sickening, disgusting thing. And it's so frustrating because I played every day. I played so good, and I played out of my mind. And I, I took every opportunity that I could, and I played out of my mind. And like, like I said, the Vulture is scum. I, play, I got to play two-hour queue sessions. The last two days of the season. I I didn't I literally didn't get to play the entire season. I got it, it, at the very start of the season, I got to 2600 CR, rank one on the ladder, basically. Uh instantly, because I'm the best valley in game. I literally didn't get to play since the very beginning of the season till the last two days of the season. I got two Q sessions, uh, one with Feral Mage, and I got up to 20 2750 instantly, which is like 100 rating below rank one. Then and that was, that's a queue session in the morning at 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. When no one queues. So I'm getting rating off, 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 off teams that I'm getting six-point wins. So I'm winning every single game because I'm the best pally in game. I'm not even queuing into regular teams where I would get 15 points or, or 17 points for winning. It's, it's the most sickening thing in life. I never got a single queue session at prime time. Never got a single queue session... In the last day of the season, I got, kept getting told every single day by multiple people, they will queue with me today. Then they ignored me. They will queue with me today. Then they ignored me. Okay, we'll queue. Don't worry. We'll definitely queue this day. Then they ignored me. Of course, I see through the deception because they're, 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 they're evil, brewing, voodoo, charming disgraces. Uh, garden gnome scum. Of course, I saw through the deception that they weren't going to help me, but what choice do I have? There's nobody who plays the game. There's, there's only, what, three mages who play the game. And then there's only and you, you only can play the only comp you can play is Pally. The literal only comp you can consistently win in as Pally if you play insanely good is Crusader Cleave, which is Feral Mage Pally, and Rogue Mage Pally, uh, uh, original uh, uh, Crusader Cleave, original Crusader Cleave. Those are the only, uh, and, and Rogue Mage Pally is worse. And I got a two hour queue session, right? And this was their plan all along to do. I got a two hour queue session. We got up to twenty eight fifty one. That's what, like 40 points off rank one? That's three wins off rank one? And then they purposely, they purposely ditched me when they knew we could get it. It was, we started queuing at 1 p.m. There's 12 hours le left of the season because they're like, no, we can queue with you all day. We can queue with you all day. We have all day to play. Uh, and then, and then, uh, of course, they, they purposely leave. They purposely leave at t two hours into the queue session when we hit 28.51. We're 40 points away. And we have 12 hours left of the season. And they literally don't queue with me for the rest of the day to go queue or do some other random thing 
purposely so I don't get rank one. Even though I deserved it more than anyone, I played out of my mind taking advantage of any cue that I get. Even though everyone else, everyone else in the entire game has a set team and queues 12 hours a day the same comp and still can't get it. People like Shit Rookie, Shit Rookie, Vegan Rookie, who's apparently one BlizzCon, even though he's the most soy milk drinking latte delicious vegan swine and couldn't even farm a carrot. People like him queued FMP, the best HPAL comp, and could not get above 2,500. Go look, go look at his videos. Could not get above 2,500, and they queued 12 hours a day during prime time, and they couldn't get above 2,500. I got two queue sessions, two hours at the worst time, and I got the 2,851, 40 points from rank one. That's because I'm the best of all time, and I never take, I never take anything for granted. When I get a queue session, I play out of my mind, and I do everything I can to win, and I know exactly the way the game should go, what should happen, what shouldn't happen, and, and what is about to happen, okay? I'm like the ghost of Matt, past Christmas and the future. I'm an absolute, another hero. And it's, it's unreal. And I'm like, at least if I get a Q session at the last day of the season, then I will still get it because I'm the best in the world. And they couldn't even give me that. And they couldn't even give me that. It's unreal. And and people like Shit Millie, Pez Millie, Bitch Millie, the guy tells me, the guy tells me, oh yeah, we'll queue at the end of the seas. Let's see. I can def queue Monday. Doesn't log on. Then logs on an hour after the season ends and messes me. Yo, we got a feral? This is the kind of shit. This is the kind of shit. And then he goes, yeah, I can help you get rank one. Then he says, then he says, then he logs on and queues with Trash Zuni the entire night. The most dog shit bitch, the, 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 the most garbage priest whose heart sucked 2KCR, who will never be good at the game to ever exist. It, it, it's crazy. It's crazy. Like, dude. I'm just so disgusted. I, it's so sickening. Like, these people need to be in psych wards. The, the, like, it is, it's so crazy because these people are such vulturous scum. When I, and they, they think rank one even matters to me. I don't even care about rank one in general. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Like, the only reason I do it is so I can show that I'm the best. But I proved that I'm the best. I proved that on the best a million times over. Seven rank ones in one season. I've gotten rank one 42 times. I do it every season in every expansion. And then people think I care about shit verdant gladiator. So a vegan green bead eating gladiator. Verdant gladiator. I don't give a shit about, I don't care about the title at all. It doesn't mean anything. Uh, the only do it I, I do it is because to show I'm the best. But I already know I'm the best. People already know I'm the best. That's why they come in my chat. That's why, that's why they, they come to my stream to try to mock me and do weird shit. I made up Big Damn. I'm the reason there's Big Damn in the world. I'm the reason why people say on Forge. I made up all these things. I never get any credit for it. It's the most sickening thing in life. And that's just the way it is. But that's why I have 42 rank ones. That's why I'm the best pally to ever live. And I always will be. Dude. Crimson Gladiator. Sinful Gladiator. Corrupted Gladiator. Dread Gladiator. Demonic Gladiator. Dominant Gladiator. Fierce Gladiator. Gladiator Season 4. Gladiator Season 1. Warmongering Gladiator. Crimson, Crimson Legend. Obsidian Legend. Cosmic Gladiator. Eternal Gladiator. Sinister Gladiator. Hero of the Horde in RBGs. My show's gotten every single rank one that you could possibly get in every single season for the past five expansions when I actually got good at the game. I am the best paladin to ever live. And I'm done with this shit game and these garbage scum. These garbage scum who think they can 
to try to affect my life. I'm the best belly to ever live, always will be, and I will stand against them like the treacherous scum they are, and I'll eradicate them from a fucking existence. And now I'm going to the strippy sea, and you better believe when I come back, I'm going to farm them onto the ground. Did you really think I was gone? No, I'm here to fucking stay. The strippers are under my fucking desk. And I'm going to farm all you vultures right here, right now. I'm going to never fucking give up in this world. No matter how many peasants and piglets try to take me down. No matter how many soy milk drinkers try to ruin my life. No matter how many flabbergasted and earth guppies bandy together against me. I will stand against you all. No matter how mad my class is. No matter how much Blizzard tries to fuck me. No matter how many bad cops they give me. No matter how many scum stand against me. And I will win against all of if it's the last thing I ever do in this world to victory! And I'm still the best to ever live. Always have been. Always will be. Maestro never gives up.